In the field of civil engineering, people are most afraid of encountering underground caves when filling cement. Because the underground cave is very huge, no matter how much cement is filled into it, it is futile. However, compared with the sea, the underground caves are very small. But China pours tons of cement into the sea. What? Why did China do this? What are they going to build now? In fact, China threw 10,000 tons of cement into the sea to build the Pingtan Strait Road Rail Bridge. According to data, the construction of the bridge cost a total of 14.7 billion yuan, and the cement used reached an astonishing 2.66 million tons. According to estimates, the cement used to build this 16 kilometer long bridge can build eight Burj Khalifa. The reason why there are so many consumables has a lot to do with the topography of the bottom of the strait. The Pingtan Strait Road Rail Bridge is located in a place with strong wind, high waves, deep water and rapid currents, which is considered as a bridge construction forbidden area. It started construction in November 2013, and in October and December 2020, the road section and the railway section were open to traffic respectively, making it the longest cross-strait road rail bridge in the world. So, what difficulties did this super bridge encounter in its construction? What open mind methods did the Chinese engineering team use? Okay, in today's video, let's talk about how China built an amazing bridge against typhoon. Let's get started. The Pingtan Strait Road Rail Bridge is a cross sea passage in Fuzhou City, Fujian Province, China. It has been receiving wide attention in China because of its difficult construction and advanced technology. After the construction of the bridge started in November 2013, China has made many documentaries about the bridge. China Central Television alone has produced four documentaries about it. It is the first cross-sea bridge in China that can run both cars and trains, and is also the longest cross-sea highway and railway bridge in the world. What's special about this bridge is that the upper level of the bridge is designed as a six-lane expressway with a speed of 100 km per hour and the lower level is designed as a double-track I-class railway with a speed of 200 km per hour. Now, let's find out how hard it is to build such a unique bridge over the ocean. The Pingtan Strait is one of the three major storm areas in the world, with strong winds, high waves, deep water, and rapid currents. There are strong winds above level 6 for more than 300 days and strong winds above level 7 for more than 200 days each year setting off a maximum wave height of nearly 10 meters. The violent wave and current force is more than 10 times that of inland river bridges such as the Yangtze River, and the construction is extremely difficult and risky. However, Chinese builders started piling and building bridges on the cusp of this so-called bridge-building forbidden zone. High winds are the biggest challenge facing the construction of the Pingtan Strait Bridge. Over the past few years, the project has experienced more than 30 typhoons. In 2015, the number 13 super typhoon Sudiro reached a wind force of 14. Up to now, the construction workers still clearly remember that when the strong wind hit, the waves were so strong that the crane and the house were all blown down, and the mobile prefabricated house for office accommodation was shifted by more than 30 meters. Therefore, the project department innovatively proposed turning offshore construction into semi-land construction and changing strong winds into weak winds, and tailored 13 2,000-ton fully enclosed offshore bridge building machines to create an offshore bridge building. The 100-meter high air corridor bridge building operation room can shield from wind and rain and increase construction safety. In any engineering project, advanced equipment has always been the main force. In order to overcome the difficulties of bridge construction, China has innovated the overall hoisting and installation technology of mobile bridge building machines, wind and typhoon protection technology, and formed a set of construction technology for bridge building machines in the often strong wind environment at sea. Because of the high winds and waves in the Pingtan Strait, the construction conditions are worse than any other bridges that have been built in China. The general 400-ton and 1,000-ton floating cranes can basically only drift with the waves when driving to the Pingtan Strait. Only large water cranes, with a capacity of more than 2,000 tons, can barely take root in the harsh sea conditions of the channel and perform precise positioning in the challenging winds so that vessels can place the bridge's steel structures precisely where they need to be placed. 
The Bridge Waterway Bridge Pile Foundation adopts board piles with a diameter of 4.9 meters and 4.4 meters, which are the largest bridge engineering piles in the world so far. The main pier Cofferdam bears more than 2,000 tons of wave force during the construction period, and it is the construction structure with the largest wave and flow force in the domestic foundation construction Cofferdam. In addition, a large floating crane with a maximum lifting height of 110 meters for the main hook and 130 meters for the auxiliary hook and a lifting weight of 3,600 tons has been developed in domestic floating cranes. It is used to erect simply supported steel beams and cable-stayed bridge steel trusses throughout the hole. The whole section of the beam was erected, and a 1,100-ton beam crane was developed, and the lifting capacity of a single crane reached the highest in China. Secondly, due to high winds and strong waves, the rock foundation under the Pingtan Strait is not covered with soft soil layers on its surface, and the exposed rock is basically solid bare rock. These bare rocks are so strong that the output power of the piling machine of the lower piling ship simply cannot drive the pile in the Pingtan Strait, and if the material of the pile is not strong enough, it will even be squeezed and deformed by the rock on the seabed, and it will not be able to drive at all. However, under a series of methods such as strengthening the pile foundation structure and adding pile foundation casings, the foundation of the bridge finally took root in the Pingtan Strait. At the same time, in order to reduce the safety risks of offshore construction, China has spent three years and hundreds of millions to build the Bridge Seagull self-propelled double-boom luffing crane ship. The height is 110 meters the equivalent of a 39-story building. This is the double-arm crane vessel with the largest lifting capacity and the highest lifting height in China, and it can be called a giant and a super strong man in offshore bridge construction. On January 22, 2018, it stably erected a steel truss girder with a hoisting weight of 3,400 tons, equivalent to the weight of 2,260 cars, to the top of the pier, setting a new record for the heaviest steel truss erection of a bridge in the world. Since the construction of the project, the China Railway Bridge Bureau has arranged five anemometers, two wave meters and one current meter along the bridge according to the needs of on-site operations to monitor the wind environment, wave elements and ocean currents in real time at the bridge site and use cloud computing at the same time. The center produces a display page and publishes various monitoring data in real time. All in all, the Pingtan Strait Road Rail Bridge is the first cross-sea bridge with dual-use highway and railway in China. The long-term plan can be extended to Taiwan, which is of great significance for promoting cross-strait economic and trade cooperation and cultural exchanges. It is not only a super project, but also another number one in China. Well, thanks for listening. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments section. We'll come back as soon as possible and check them, and then we'll give feedback. See you next time.